you really general. do that to tarnish him in your eyes. That's why they're doing that. But when you actually look at this, if you just take a second and step back and look at this, look at the flights. That's what they want to talk about, the, the travel, the expenses. The flight they talk about, that free flight, is in 2017. Seven years ago, five years before he's the mayor, there's nothing improper, illegal, or wrong about that, but they don't want you to look at that too long. So they go over to their board, and they showed you that chart, where they have the columns of the places and the columns of the places and the columns. But you know what they didn't really explain to all of you? Those were upgrades. Those were upgrades on airlines with open seats. That's what airlines do. They do it every day. They do it for VIPs, they do it for Congress people. They're empty seats. It costs the airlines nothing. That's what airlines do. And so that's what they want to talk about because they want to tarnish him. They want to tarnish him in your eyes. So then they ship to the campaign contributions. And I don't know if you noticed, but they don't have Eric Adams doing anything. He's not taking in the money. There's no email or text message in the indictment that has him doing anything, taking in any money. What they say is that some staffer says sometime later, some staffer says sometime later that he knew. He knew that some of the money was foreign money. That's the case. But they left out something very important, something you will soon see, which is that there are emails with Mayor Adams telling them, telling this staffer, telling all of them, do not take foreign money, period. That's in emails. You will see those. And so they, again, they pivot away from that. They pivot away from that and they say $10 million, fraud, $10 million, fraud, and they're doing that to mislead you. If you look closely at the indictment, you know how much money we're talking about from the people of Turkey? $26,000. That's what's actually in the indictment, no $10 million. Some of that money, if it's incorrect, taken improperly, if you do match that money, then the matching's bad matching. It's not fraud, that's not $10 million. But why do they do that? They do that to mislead. They do that to tarnish him in your eyes. And so at the end of this, this 10-year conspiracy that they've tried to weave together, I don't know if you all picked up on how this ends. The consulate general calls the mayor. He asks for courtesy. New Yorkers do this all the time, all the time. The mayor says, tries to see if something can be done, and if not, he'll manage expectations. And when the consulate general calls back five days later, and ask the mayor to make a phone call, he doesn't even pick up the phone. He doesn't even attempt to give that courtesy. Post phone. That's it. That's how this ends. There's no corruption. This is not a real case. We're gonna see everybody in court, hopefully tomorrow, not Monday, and I have nothing further. What kind of mayor, mayor, 45 you years. Aren't trend. you worried? I mean, 45 years of DOJ. We're hoping, that, that we're hoping that we can go tomorrow. We've asked for tomorrow. We'd like to have been there today. They sent us a summons, leaked this to the media. We'd like to be there today. If not, we'll be there tomorrow. And if they won't have us tomorrow, we'll be there Monday. Why didn't you, why didn't you just disclose just That's, all, that's, that's for you all to figure out. Alex Fear, right? So, is there anything else? 45 years. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.